Iraq now, and a top Kurdish regional leader in the northern part of Iraq has told Al Jazeera that he needs more ground troops to defeat the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. He says the international community needs to send reinforcements to help Peshmerga forces in the front lines. Zain Akhada has this exclusive report. Kurdish Peshmerga troops have been winning battles, but the war against the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant is far from over. Air support provided by the U.S.-led coalition has helped them, but commanders say they are not enough. They say the slow pace of the offensive allows ISIL to regain momentum. The chancellor of the Kurdistan Regional Security Council, Masrur Barzani, oversees the military operations on the ground. He told me that the international community needs to engage more. This, he said, would require ground troops because it will take time for Iraqi forces to be ready to defeat ISIL. To wait until the training is completed, until these forces, especially in Iraq, are coming to a position where they can drive ISIS out, it will take a longer time. So I, I believe that there has to be a way of um, uh, bringing more forces to the ground and not only depend on uh, the airstrikes. So you're calling for foreign troops? I, I wouldn't be calling that. I, I'm just saying that that depends on how quickly does the international community want to get rid of ISIS. The coalition does have military advisors on the ground, but it has ruled out sending combat forces, at least for now. But the Iraqi government has made clear it would not welcome foreign forces, and that is not the only disagreement it has with the Kurdish regional government. Some of Iraq's Arabs see the Kurdish advances on the ground as part of a plan to carve out more territory for their autonomous region. Barzani, who is the son of the president of the Kurdish-controlled north, denies this, but he did say the future Iraqi state will have to be different. I hope that the new structure based on federalism and perhaps a more uh, loose kind of uh, unity, maybe confederation, would probably be best to uh, address this uh, existing problems. The Peshmerga are fighting a costly battle against a better equipped opponent. They have criticized the decision to exclude them from this week's coalition meeting in London. At that gathering, the Iraqi government asked for more military support. The Peshmerga want the same thing. But the difference is they're ready to accept foreign soldiers on the ground. Sana Khudr al-Jazeera, northern Iraq.